welcome to Canlis Community College. We are so glad you're here. I am Amory Canlis, and I'm here with sous chef John Hi. Courtney. And we are so excited to have you here for Canning and Pickling 101. And I was, I married to Mark, and so I was really excited when he invited me to come here to be with you for this class because I have never pickled. And so I'm going to be learning with you at home today. So this is a beginner class. John here is going to teach us. John, tell me a little bit about your love of pickling or how did you learn or what, what do you, tell us about that. Sure. So, um, you know, pickling is kind of a, canning and pickling is kind of an obsession of mine at home, both here in the restaurant. Um, and it's just something that I like to do to preserve the season, get ready for the next season, make sure I always have all my favorite ingredients on hand at all times. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just excited uh, to be here and show you a little bit about what we do here in the restaurant. Okay. And how we like to preserve different awesome ingredients that we get in from our farmers. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just kind of show you the basics of one of the easiest ways to preserve the season. Okay. So I've made jam yeah. at home, basically because I take our kids to you pick farms and over pick. I mean, we're a big picker. So we come home with the flats and they're gorgeous and then they sink and then they drip. And then I realize I need to do something with all this mess of yeah. berry. And so for the last few years we've made jam. Sure. And so that was the first time that I'd ever done it's anything very, like that. Just say, like it's a remarkably good jam. Oh, my husband is a big fan. Yeah. Of, totally of the biased. Jam. So and also it really and so I have experienced the joy of something in the winter of a beautiful fruit from the summer. I always say that our apricot jam is liquid sunshine because yeah. that, that fruit just baked in the summer, in the heat, and then we get to have it year round. And so we're gonna get to experience that. I'm also a notoriously over shopper at the farmer's market because everything looks good. Absolutely. And then I do often feel overwhelmed with, I've bought too many cucumbers, too many zucchinis, I've bought the too big cauliflower and then sometimes it doesn't all make it. Absolutely. It, it goes to the chickens uh, sometimes. You yeah. Know? So we eat a lot of it. So you're going to give us some tools yeah, so that we don't have to always feed it to the chickens. Totally. And, you know, okay. I'm kind of in the same boat here. I've been here uh, at Canlis for about two years. Um, and, you know, we get all these awesome farmers that show up at our doorstep. Yeah. And they'll bring in just so much amazing produce. Yeah. And uh, I can't resist but to buy all of it. And, you know, Mark will walk up to me and I'll be like, John, why'd so you... I'm surrounded by people yeah. who just yeah. buy everything they see. Yeah, it's so know, beautiful. I'm stressed out now. Mark yeah. will come up to me and he'll be like, John, why'd you buy $5,000 yeah. worth yeah. of produce? I'll yeah. be like, well, yes. you know what, Mark? I'm going to put it in some jars. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. that's just kind of, um, yeah. I think, uh, yeah. just an awesome way to take care of a bunch of that produce. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so for you at home joining us here, I'm just going to give you a little overview kind of help you organize how we're going to organize our time. We have an hour. We're going to try to do a lot. We're going to start with our apples. We're going to start with our fruit project. We're going to start with apple butter. John's going to teach us how to make apple butter. We're going to get it going. We're going to get it prepped. We're going to get it cooking. It's the kind of thing that takes about two hours to simmer. So we're going to, you're going to get yours cooking. I'm going to get mine cooking. We're going to set it cooking. And then we are going to switch to pickling. Then we're gonna do some pickling brine. John's gonna teach us about how to make that, all the different factors of that. Then we're gonna prep the vegetables. Meanwhile, our apple butter is still cooking, so cooking, so cooking. So then we're gonna move into vegetable. Now you prepped some apple butter yesterday. Is that yeah, right? So I, yeah, so I prepped, okay. I did just, we're gonna kind of cram two and a half hours worth of work yeah, into an yeah, hour long exactly. show. So, we, so we'll we've got some things at different stages ready to kind of show you yeah. um, just the different processes. So okay. um, So in the end, we'll have a, we'll have a, we'll show how to can the finished apple butter. Yes. But you at home will do that. If you're making it right now in real time, you'll do that later. Just so you know. Correct. So, okay. So that feels great. That feels good. So, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, let's get okay. let's get let's jump right into this apple butter, and then okay. we're gonna get into a couple pickles. I've never made apple butter. Okay, it's easy. So okay. I mean, basically, the difference between apple butter and applesauce is kind of the cooking time. Okay. Um, and we're it's a longer cooking time. We're yeah. caramelizing a lot of the sugars. Okay. We're reducing a lot of the water out. Okay. And we're gonna end up with this really glossy, sexy okay. product when we're okay. done. Okay. Okay. So we got some okay. awesome apples here. Okay. What, um, what what do we have here? What kind of apple is this? 
Sure. Um, so to be honest with you, I'm not 100 percent sure yeah. what type of apple this okay. is, but we Great. get a bunch of awesome product in from oh. uh, some of my favorite farmers, Alice and Peter. Yeah. And they dropped yeah. us off just a uh, assortment of different apples and pears, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, we were going through and trying them, and these kind of just had the most uh, kind of exotic, sweet, um, different kind of. Uh, Tannic. Yeah. No, it was just okay. kind of a, an awesome apple. So this okay, is the great. one we're going to use today. So, so any apple will, will do. Yeah. Any, you want a flavorful, but really, really any apple. What you do. have is the right apple. Exactly. The one so, you have is the right one. Okay. So let's let's grab so our apples. How do you prep it for apple butter? Yeah. So for apple butter, we're not going to peel them. We kind of want oh. those skins on yeah, there. Great. It's going to be real easy. Oh, we I want the skins. That. They're going to give okay. us some tannins, okay. and it's going to. It's gonna affect the color, and it's just okay. gonna be nice and easy. So okay. I like to take my apple. Okay, I'm gonna watch you first. And then sure, so then we're I'll... just gonna trim off. We're gonna try and okay. avoid the core. I oh, like to trim both trimmer. sides. Yep. We're gonna leave our core okay. here in the middle. Okay. And that's it. This is gonna okay. go right in the pot. That we're gonna keep just it simple. like that, even that big, this, a whole oh, half. Like yeah, that? yeah, it doesn't matter. So these it are all gonna matter. cook down. They're all gonna break down. We okay. won't even see it at the end. Oh, okay. So yeah, let's okay. start cutting. So let's do. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do and about eight to ten of these. what kind of pot should we put them in? Should we put them directly into the pot that we're gonna cook them in? Yeah, let's do that just to okay. keep it easy. Just to keep it easy. Okay. Yeah, so, so we're I've gonna cut nice... the apples. So we're gonna put them right into the pot. Sure. Okay. So about got... if, about how many apples sh sh is our target right now? Yeah. So I think um, you know six large apples or okay. ten kind of medium to small is this apples a me like this. this? Is a medium. Yeah. Apple? So or if you have some really small apples, you know you can do twelve. Sure. Okay. Um, but this but is it, a pretty standard. Yeah, this is kind of your standard looking apple. Okay, great. So, kind of like that. There we go. So I have this. Yeah, don't worry about that. Th that's that's okay. no big deal. Yeah, I mean, okay. it, it's no big deal. It's going to cook down. I like to avoid the seeds just because I don't want to deal with it later. Yeah, I don't either. So we're just going to okay. trim them right off like that. Great. We're going to go like easy. that. We're going to go like that. And yeah. I, re I really don't have to cut that in half. I, mean, I so... Yeah, no, let's just leave it. everything about me wants to... If you want to, just do it. Why not? No, no, no. But I want you're, the, you're teaching okay, me. Okay, cool. Great. So then, then I because that's exciting. That's really freeing that I don't have to. Cut yeah, that. you know this is some this is some grandma canning and pickling yes. right now. No, and, well, but this is also making, so. real life canning and pickling because you know who doesn't have a lot of extra time? Exactly. Is busy people. You know. So we're just. You want to hurry up and get the apples in while yeah. your kids aren't bothering you. Exactly. And so, let's do it. You know. Okay, so then I can just compost all those cores. Right? Yeah, we can compost all I'm the not cores. Gonna, I don't need those for just any pop reason. Pop them in here for now. Oh yeah, pop them in there for now. Okay, now, we are two people, and at home, maybe they're one person. Maybe. So we, we'll just slow down for just a second so they can be cutting their apples, and they're not gonna worry if they mess up like me and have some of the plastic, or not, it's not plastic. It just, it's just some of the core, some yeah, of the it's core. just not plastic. It's just a little bit of the core. <laughs> it's not plastic. Wait, I know. At least I hope it's not plastic. I know, it just kind of looks like it. Okay. So I think so. Okay. I usually like to do, when I'm doing fruit jams, yeah. I like to do around half the weight of the fruit in sugar. Okay. So for this, but we got, I don't. But, uh, but at home, yeah, I don't, so I don't weigh, weigh the fruit. But we can kind of just eyeball it on this okay. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah, just, yeah, we're just yeah, making yeah. some grandma jam. Yeah, okay. So it's no big deal. Yeah. So Good. I got two cups of sugar here. Two cups. Yeah, we're going to add that in. Okay. And if it looks And great, what kind of, is this just, um, this is just plain standard. Old, this is CNH cane sugar. CNH sugar. Okay, it's not baker sugar. Anything. This happens to be baker sugar. It is because that's what, that's what we use. Yeah. But okay. it doesn't matter. If I was making this at home, I yeah. personally have a lot of just sugar in the raw turbinado because that's what I drink well, in I was my coffee. About that. Yeah. You can use that. It might be a little bit more caramely, yeah. a little bit more molasses. Yeah, but you might like that. But who? It's fine. And okay. It still works as long as you're not using kind of powdered sugars. Sure. Okay. You want to stay away from those, but this this is a great um, your standard white sugar is okay. good to go. So any kind of green sugar, but you know we're gonna use a white sugar, and here we go. Yeah. We've got two cups so in with our fruit. Two cups sugar here. in. Okay. We got so some, now what else so goes in here? We got some apple cider vinegar here. You oh. can use any vinegar you want. Okay. It makes sense to me to use apple cider here. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna do. But that oh that's a that. This is a little bit over a cup and a half here. A cup and a half. But I okay. think we're going to do about a cup. Okay. Uh, this seems right to me. Okay. A we're cup of a cup apple here. cider vinegar into our apple butter. Yes. Got it. But I don't remember putting vinegar when I made applesauce. I don't think I did. Sure. So okay. this is kind of just like. This is going to give it a richer flavor. This is just going to give it a little bit, couple more notes. It's yeah. going to have a little bit of acidic kind of components to it. Yeah. It's going to be perfect to okay. put on the, it's just going to have an awesome taste when we're done. You know, I always have apple cider vinegar in my, in my. Uh, pantry, and I never know what to do with it. 
Well, here you go. Okay. Here I, we go. This is actually like, I know, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then um, I always like to use another liquid um, just okay. to kind of help everything cook down. Yeah. So you okay. can use water, you can yes. use wine. Okay. You can use some apple cider, some hard apple cider if you okay. want. Oh, yeah, because it's um, in season, so you might have some in your, in yeah, your fridge. Yeah, yeah, okay. why not? Or just okay. some apple juice. Yeah. Any, any other kind of liquid to get in here to help everything okay. cook down because the apples don't readily want to let out a lot of sugar or got a lot it. of liquid like okay. strawberries or blueberries do, sure. right? Yeah. Okay. Got it. So, so okay. we're drinking a little wine. Yeah. So I've got a little wine Thank you. on hand. Okay. So we'll um, use a little wine here as well. That's kind of fun. Yeah. But so you can use water. You can use water. But yeah. We, yeah. 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 But okay. we have some wine. And it would wine. be the same proportions. Like if you were doing wine, it would be the same amount. It'd be the same proportions. It has nothing yeah. to do. It's just a preference. Yeah. Okay. But I, I like using wine. It, It'll give you a little bit more of a sheen at the end. It's okay. got a little bit more flavor in it, obviously. Okay. okay. And it just gives you an excuse to open up a bottle of wine. Okay, yeah, absolutely, right? So, so that's good. So we've got this here. Okay. We're gonna turn this on. All right, do I need to stir it or anything? Yeah, we're gonna stir it a little bit once it gets going. Okay. So. You have an induction burner here, which. We, we've got an induction burner, which we're gonna crank up. Okay, which I don't know but, how to work, so you're gonna be in charge. Yeah, I'm gonna be um, in charge of this, but at is home. Is that a medium? Like a medium low, medium, do you, do you get it to a high heat and so then kinda, turn it down? I kind of like to bring it up and then turn it down. Okay, so get the whole thing hot. Yes. And then put it down on a lower exactly. tap for a longer time. Exactly. Okay. So um, you can leave it just like this if you want and we can cook it out and this is gonna make a beautiful apple butter. Okay. And in okay. the restaurant here, this is probably what we would do because it's okay. gonna give us just a pure flavor of the apple. Right. It's really gonna preserve the integrity of this beautiful apple that we got. Yeah. Um, and then six months down the road, right. when I go in the basement and I pull this guy out for one yeah. of our dishes, yeah. we can adjust the flavoring there. Oh, interesting. Okay, so what you're saying is right now, if you were making this for the restaurant, you would keep it unspiced. I mean, it's unless, Yeah, flavored. unless we had a specific okay. dish in yeah. mind that we were okay. doing this for, oh, look, but I, so I kind of like to think yeah. that we're gonna deal with this okay. way down the road, so right. I'm gonna leave it right. like this. But okay, but at home, I probably am yeah, not but thinking home, that way. Maybe I'm making this for my Thanksgiving dinner and yeah. I wanna have some, you know, fall warming spices or yeah. something in it. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. we've got a couple here. Okay. Um, we're gonna do cinnamon and star anise in ours. Okay. Um, if you had some rosemary grown in your front yard, oh, which I bet you do. My neighbor does, and I clip yeah, it all exactly. the time. Yeah, exactly. You could throw that in there. Yeah. You could throw some thyme in there. If you wanted to be a little bit more savory, you could throw a shallot in there, maybe. You oh. can throw whatever you want in there, whatever you got in your pantry. Really? You but, put you could put all in, in, in any of that in Yeah, there. and it's all okay. going to taste good. Okay, okay. But okay. today we're going to do um, a little cinnamon and star anise. Okay, so uh, you have here, I don't know what camera, you have cinnamon, you have stick cinnamon. We got the whole sticks. And you have... And we have some star anise yeah. kind of broken in. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it it's really amazing. smells like Christmas or yes. like Thanksgiving, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so, okay, are you gonna, so we're gonna, gonna do something with this? This is kind of a little extra credit here. It, it's okay. it's really nice when you're making huge batches of things. Yes. To have a little sachet like this that you can throw in. Okay. The sachet is just a bundle of something in some cheesecloth. Okay, so cheesecloth. So, I don't own any cheesecloth. Sure. So, where, if someone wanted to, buy cheesecloth. Yeah, is it just at the grocery store? Yeah, I mean, I have some in my house that I just picked up at Ballard Market, okay. or you can get it at, at any nicer grocery store. Yeah, And okay. um, yeah, you know, so it's, it's no problem. To, yeah. You can, you can kind of get it anywhere, but you also don't need it. So I, what okay. I like to do. So um, for example, let's say you're me in yeah. my home, in my kitchen, and I don't have this. Sure. What would, would I throw that in whole? Yeah, so if you are at home and you don't have this, we can just chuck it in there. Okay. And then we're just gonna pick it out later. And so later you pick it out. And then okay. we'll just kind of try and get the bigger pieces we can to go in here. That sure. way, uh, that way you for, we that for way sure can get That way it's easier to pick out. out later. Okay. And then and for our little sachet here, if we wanted to do that. But if you also, if you don't have stick cinnamon and you love cinnamon, you could use ground cinnamon. You can use a little ground cinnamon in there. Okay, Absolutely. but don't over cinnamon maybe? Or what? Yeah, take the it word? Cinnamon is one of those ones that it's easy to go overboard on it. So just take it easy so on exciting. the cinnamon. It's so exciting. It's such an exciting spice. Exactly. Okay. So here we okay. go. We got our little sash. We're okay. not going to use this today, but I just kind of want to show you how easy it is. Right. We're going to kind of roll it up nice and tight here. That's a lot of cheesecloth. It's a lot of cheesecloth, but it's it's going to, it's easy to grab a lot. Okay. Especially well, that's because good. what we got here. And we would just tie this up. Because maybe if you just had a tiny little bit, which it was what might oh, have actually, done, it would have yeah, leaked out. I, I brought scissors. Okay. Here's my kitchen scissors. Great. So yeah, if we were... Uh, so, kit, so this is just... Cotton this, twine. This is just cotton twine. Okay, doesn't matter. Baker's twine, here. kitchen twine. And we would just cotton. throw this guy in and remove him out later. Okay. 
But we're not gonna do that today. We just got it right in the pot. Okay, so, but if I was gonna use that, I would throw it in. Just, it just cooks in there. Yeah, the it would cook in there. Nothing's gonna happen to everything. the, it, it would pull all the flavors out. Nothing would happen to it. Okay. And it would just be hanging out. Okay, okay. Okay, so we got some action going in here, right? I know, look, it's warming up. Yeah, great. Okay, it's warming up right here. Great. And so this is, we're 10 minutes in. Yeah, this about? I don't know what time it is. Okay, so then we'll set this aside. Yes. Maybe just leave this here. Yeah, so let's let's set this aside so we're we can kind of get aside. going on some other things. But okay, we're gonna great. keep we're gonna keep an eye on it. It's starting okay, to come I'll up let to you a, place that. It's starting to come up to a simmer. You can see some bubbles starting to happen here. Okay. Um, and we're just gonna set this aside and uh, let it start to cook down. All the apples are gonna start to break down. Everything's gonna start to happen in here. So let's set this okay, aside great. for now. And we'll check on it. And we'll check on it periodically as we're working. Thank here. you. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, now we are apple butter is in the pot. That's amazing. And we've done it and we start to finish, right? I mean, so now we're gonna switch to pickling. We're gonna switch to pickling. Okay, I'm really excited about this part. Yeah. Because I've never pickled anything. Sure. And I've wanted to, but I haven't had the confidence to do it at home. Yeah. So. I, I think it's uh, it's one of those things that a lot of people are kind of uh, scared to get into because you know, what if, what if it goes wrong? What if? Yeah. What if I don't do it right and I get sick? And I, I think that's all things that you shouldn't worry about. Because what if I just don't even like the flavor? It's one of the oldest ways of preserving. Do I use? And you can whatever whatever you like to eat should be going in your jar of pickles. Okay. So okay. Um, we're gonna make this kind of standard pickle brine, and we're gonna use that for a couple different pickles today. Okay. Um, so let's get started. Okay, with pickle that. brine. I've never made it. Let's get started let's with the pickle okay. brine. So, so we posted a recipe online for our pickle brine. Okay. Um, and we're gonna make a double size batch of what we put online. Just Great. because that's gonna make it easier for us to do what we're doing. Okay. But uh, the amount oh, right, of pickle brine. Yeah, because we're both making yeah, them for we're making our a own couple jars. different things here. Okay, so. great. Okay, so um, let's bring over all of our ingredients. Sure, so we and got. And then let's take a minute and then let's get all of our ingredients out. Okay, so this is vinegar. These correct? are vinegars, yep. Okay. So we've right. got about, so, these are, these are okay. all four great. cup containers of vinegar. Okay, vinegar. Uh, you can use whatever you want. Yep. Vinegar wise, but we're today we're going to be using white wine vinegar. Okay. And I got a little apple cider vinegar here too, just because I like the flavor. Excellent. Great. Um, we're going to do equal parts water. Equal parts vinegar water. Yes, ma'am. Whatever vinegar you use, equal parts water. Yes. Every time. You know, there's a million <laughs> different pickling recipes. Okay. But that's what we're going to do this okay, time. Yeah, for yeah. starter. For starter. For starter. Excellent. Okay, great. So. Okay. Ooh, what else? Anything? Let's, yeah, let's yeah. let's start by getting these in the pot. Okay. So I'll start handing these off okay. to you. You okay. can start dumping them in. Okay. And then uh, wow. we're gonna do. Look at these nice measured out. It doesn't happen like this in my house where they come all measured out, but here. Mark doesn't set you up like this at home. Uh, no, he doesn't. He he does a lot of helpful <laughs> things. He does a lot of really helpful things. No, you need a he does a you lot of dishes. You, you, you gotta get a better sushi than I do. So a few people just still catching ones. up, right? So they're still like slicing some cucumbers and that kind of thing. So we're not. We, we haven't hurt. done cucumbers. Yet. Okay, well I'm just saying like people are just like okay, raw. We're right. just. Yeah, they're just kind of like getting into it. Yeah. If you're just tuning brain. in. Oh, we're yes. just getting we're yes. just getting the brine. We, we had a couple yeah, connectivity issues. Some few people had to like reset their computers and that yeah. kind of thing. So we're yeah, sure. Okay. You guys Nothing are important has happened some, yet. So, we've yeah. <laughs> just we chopped some apples, yeah. sugar, water, a little apple cider vinegar, some cinnamon. It's cooking on low, and it's gonna cook for a long time. My favorite thing is that I don't have to cut my apples really power small. On these. Yeah, you're missing power. Yeah, our power's gone out on these. Okay, we're out of power. But well, that's okay. We're, we're gonna, gonna figure, figure it out. out. Okay, yeah. That's going to be great for slowing the show. Yeah, it's, I know. <laughs> it's going to slow down. This is yeah. actually a production yeah. trick we use. Okay. We just cut power on yeah. the set, and then no problem. I think no it's, problem. I think it's coming back right now. Okay, so this is so that's the white wine vinegar going in, right. and you know you can use whatever white wine vinegar you want, but obviously the nicer ingredients you buy. The nicer things are going to be, but okay. this is honestly this, this is, is pretty kind of standard white wine vinegar. Yeah, it's a lot of right. vinegar. So, yeah, totally. you know, I mean, you know, it's hard to buy artisanal Absolutely. in bulk, right? So you might just want to buy a big one and Absolutely. Just use it, right? Okay. Because if I'm going to go through the work of doing this, I kind of want a lot of things pickled maybe Absolutely. in the end. All right. So, and then this is an apple cider vinegar. Yeah, and that's okay. an, the apple cider vinegar. It smells good. It does smell good. Okay, yeah. so why do you cook a pickling brine? 
So, I mean, th the biggest reason we're bringing it up here to temp is going to be to dissolve our salt and sugar here. Okay, what does it mean to bring it up to temp? So we're you have a target? Yeah, we're going to bring it up to a boil. So oh, it'll, to it'll a be boil. it'll be around 200 degrees plus. Okay. okay. Uh, depending on where you're at, but yeah, it, we're, we're we're bringing it up to temperature to a 200 degrees ish. You don't need to do it with a thermometer or anything, but we we want steam coming off of it, and we want it nice and hot. Okay. Um, okay. And that's just going to help when we go in the jars. We want yes. the liquid to be hot. Okay. Because when because we go to when we go to seal the jar in our water bath, yeah. it's better if the temperature is already hot inside. It helps everything seal. Yeah. Okay. It's going to help with That's our right. process. That's right. I add hot jam into my jars. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I mean, yeah. you can seal jars by just putting hot jam in it and closing it. Right. But also putting it in the uh, yeah. water bath yeah, yeah, is just an bath. extra step. Right. And we'll do that at the end. We're going to do, do canning. That at the end. We're going to do canning yeah. tricks. We're going to do safe canning. We're going to do all that at the end. Okay. Absolutely. So, so we got our pickling brine. So what do you have? We got our brine. We've got salt, just straight up kosher salt. Just plain, regular salt. Yep. Kosher salt. We use diamond kosher here because it's the best. Uh, that's okay. just what we like to use. That's just Great. what we like to use as okay. cooks. Yeah. Um, so we got our. How much is that? This is one cup. One cup, but we're doubling the recipe. Yeah, we're doubling here. it, so, so we're that's gonna do two, two cups. Two cups of salt. And then I've got one cup of sugar. Okay, just plain sugar. Just White straight sugar. up C and H okay. caster sugar. Okay, got it. So um, this is gonna heat. This yeah, so gonna we're gonna heated. bring this up to a boil as quick okay. as we can. I'm gonna stir it. Sure. Because I like to stir things, and then I can see them. Okay. And I feel like I'm helping in along. Okay. Okay. So, what's next? And then, so while that's coming up to Tim, we can kind of talk about our pickling spice here. Yes, please. Okay. I think yeah, one of go my ahead. questions was since I've never pickled before, I was I read a little bit before I come, and it was saying you can buy a pickling spice. Yeah. But you don't have to. You don't have to buy it pre-done. You can make yours. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so I mean, maybe let's make it. So we're gonna so make I it. I think that's better because then you get to. I'm just giving confidence to the beginner pickler that we can prepare all of our own spices. Absolutely. And have some freedom with it. Okay, what did you pick for us to use today? So today I've got some coriander, some okay. full black peppercorns. Okay. Got some are you showing this? Is it, can they see this? Are we Sean? in camera here? Are we, yes, are we? It's coming up from the end. Okay, great. So right. you have coriander seeds. Yeah, we got whole coriander seeds. Okay. We got black peppercorns. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Yep. Okay, whole ones. We've got some chili flake, and mm -hmm. we've got some yellow mustard seeds. Yellow mustard seeds, just kind of the regular kind that you would buy in a bulk section. So those yellow mustard seeds that have been sitting in your cabinet for five years. Actually, yes, yeah. I have some of those. Okay, so that's, that's <laughs> I, don't all think, it is. I don't think I've ever used them. So okay. let's add them all into the bowl. We're gonna okay. mix them up. So at what um, proportion? Well, for this, we're gonna just dump these right in. I've got. 10 tablespoons of each here. Oh, you have 10 tablespoons. So yeah, it's a the, one to one. It's one to one. So on the if I wanted spice. to do three, 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 I would do that. Yeah, so okay, we're just going to mix all this together in here. And then oh, yeah, we're going to add gonna these. Have a, you yeah, you're going to label it out. Yeah. yeah. But we're, okay. we're going to mix them all up in here. And okay. then we're going to add that to our jars when we're going to pickle later. We don't John, put it into here. For those that are maybe doing like the simplest version, like maybe yeah. they don't, what, what are like the key? Like the key ones to throw in there. Like I think you want to have black pepper, okay. and you're gonna want to have coriander. Okay. So and then, I mean, honestly, the mustard, in my opinion, you want to have that in there too. But you don't have you don't have to have any of this in there. Is the is the beauty of it? As long as you kind of have your brine right. The, the brine is doing the pickling. The, the brine is doing the pickling. Just, this is just this is just for flavor to get okay. us happy. Okay. Okay. And it makes the jar look pretty. It makes the jar look very pretty. Yeah. Which I like. We still don't have power. Yeah, we're losing power here. Okay. That's okay. That's let's, all right. Let's, um, I'm going to move this to our back burner here just because sure. it's working. Sure. Okay, so we're going to do our spice. It's a dry spice combo. Yes. Yeah. Let's and get all let's, those mixed up. Okay, great. And we're using all whole round spices. Okay. A lot of chili flakes. I'm kind of excited about that because I like spicy things. But if that's if you don't prefer spice, then maybe you are more cautious on that. But it adds flavor. Yeah, it it's adds just a lot a of flavor, and you know the chili flake isn't going to make your stuff overly spicy, but it's just going to bring a little bit of that flavor to the table. Okay. That okay. you really like, and I mean, if Got you it. smell this, it smells like a dill pickle jar, doesn't it? Minus the dill. Yeah. It kind of has that yeah. going on. Yeah, I'm surprised how aromatic it really is. Yeah, and I mean, this is not even toasting the spices, and we're not going to do that today oh, yeah. just because that's all going to happen in the jar. That's, that's pretty amazing. So okay. we got this ready. So this is 
This is just ready. This so is we ready. don't add this. We don't cook this. We're not going to add this in our um, in our brine here because it's easier to distribute it just to put it in our jars when we're pickling. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, That's so easier. Let's, let's okay. set that aside. Okay. We're going to start with the pickled beets first. Okay, we're going to set that there because I think it's really beautiful and I want to keep looking at it. Perfect. I really like when I'm making pickled beets yes. to cook them in the brine. Okay. That way, if you try to just pour your brine over and cook it, you're going to have rock hard little beets when you open up your jar. And that's not what you want. No. So, so you want to cook them just a little bit. Okay, we're going to do beets. You can, this is what I learned yesterday in our prep meeting, which was actually really fun because I learned a lot from John yeah. yesterday. Is that there's so much freedom in this. There's so much freedom. Right. Yeah. So, we're gonna do beets. I love beets. Yes. I requested this because I think they're beautiful and I love the flavor and so I wanted to learn how to do it. But if you're at home, you could be doing green beans. You yes. could be doing cauliflower. You could be doing, what are some other things? Just name sure. a few, if you're Yeah, pickling. I mean, you could be pickling cherries. You can be- Oh, whoa. Yeah, you can whoa. be pickling uh, Brussels sprouts. Oh, you can pickle okay. uh, peppers. Uh, you can pickle okay. onions and yeah. shallots. Really, really anything yes. that you can eat, yeah. you can pickle. All right. Okay. <laughs> that is actually really fun so, to so, think about. And then, and then speaking of freedom, just so I, so I can be clear, a couple of things. Um, one, I'm not an electrician, but I think two induction burners on the one thing is not going to work. So, John, the induction burner in front of you is going to work right now. Great. Okay. We'll You're bring another core for that one. But just the uh, – so the, the recipe that we gave – in the notes and the one we're using is different by a little bit. And that's because okay. there's a lot of room here for your own pickling recipe. There, yeah. there is just like a ton of space. So uh, unlike baking, we have a lot of freedom. So John, the, the one that you use, if you can, if you just give us like the salt and sugar mm -hmm. ratio. Mm -hmm. what, yeah, what was absolutely. Your... So I like to do, um, and you know, also I just, this is worth mentioning in kitchens, we do everything in grams, but uh, it, it, we we kind of are going to do everything in cups today. Yeah, thank but it you. Makes, it makes things a lot easier oh, for us in the kitchen to do things in grams. It's easier to scale. Sure. But um, so today we're going to be doing eight cups of vinegar. Yes, because we are choice. doubling. We're doubling the recipe. Sure. Yeah, but eight cups of vinegar. Eight cups of vinegar. Eight cups eight of cups water because it's a one to one. Whatever yep. your thing is. Yes. We're going to do two cups. Or I'm sorry, one cup of salt. Yes. Half cup of sugar. Per four cups of liquid. But because we did eight cups of liquid, we did, well, we did two we did, cups. We of did salt. sixteen cups. So, so we're, we're so I the one that I just told was the one that I believe we put online. Yeah, okay. yeah I hope so. Trust him. So we 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 doubled it, Great. Um, but that's the ratio that people are looking for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so cool. let's get these beets going. Okay. Um, how do you prep a beet? Yeah. So and do you prep it differently for for roasting or something? Yeah. Or so if we were gonna roast these, I would just okay. uh, kind of clean these up, toss okay. them in oil. Got it. And uh, put them in the oven to roast. Okay, that's what I do. Sure. So okay, today, good. though, we're going to peel these first. Okay. Uh, because we don't want to pickle them with the skin on because nope. it's just kind of going to be gross later. So, okay, great. Um, I like to trim the bottom off first. Yeah, me too. Okay, great. That's what I was hoping you were going to do that first. Um, okay. And then I kind of like to trim the top off. It's kind of a surprise of whatever, whatever color it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, so these are some beautiful Chioga beets we got okay. from uh, just some of our farmer friends. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we're going to trim them off and we can go about it two ways. We can either take our peeler. Right. Um, which Let's is gonna, it. it's gonna be kind of the, the easiest way to do it, I okay. think. And so I like to kind of start at the top, come all the way down. Oh yeah, And just okay. get a quick peel. Okay. I like to keep my thumb on the bottom of my beet here. Okay. And use it just kind of as leverage okay. to do it. If okay. you don't have a peeler at home or you right. don't feel comfortable doing it, you can kind of just take your knife. Sure. And trim it up. Yes. Whichever way you like. Okay. And this is kind you of- told me this, You told me earlier that this is your favorite peeler. That's the peeler any professional kind of chef in the world uses this kind of peeler. This is exciting like because I have... Right? They're yeah. $4. Yeah. You can I'm get them at any Asian this. grocery store. Yes. And they, uh, we call Great. them Y peelers because they're shaped like a Y. Great. And uh, okay. they last forever. It's they're really light. They're cheap. They're light. Yeah. They work. They're the best. That's okay. what we use. Great. So if you're someone like me and have carpal tunnel, it's not, it's not hard to hold. That's exactly. really actually amazing. Okay. Yeah, so let's, let's crush through these. We'll peel these out okay. and just okay. chuck them right Put in that bowl after we peel them. Okay, great. So we're going to do this. And then we're going to come through so and we're going to... we're going to trim them on each side. Yeah, we're going to trim on each side. And then we're going to peel each bead. Exactly. Okay. And so what shape are we going to cut our beets into for pickling? Like sure. what's the... 
Yeah. So we can do whatever shape we want, right? Okay, we can. We could chuck them in here whole if we'd oh, like. Oh, oh, oh. But that might take a long time to pickle. It takes a little bit longer to cook. Okay. Um, yeah. But it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because okay. we're just hanging out pickling bees at home. Right, right, right. In That's theory. true. Okay. So um, kind of whatever shape you want I, them in your jar. I personally like to do uh, beets in a size that I think I'm going to eat in a salad down the road. Yeah. Because okay. I want to, when I have pickled beets, I want to open them up from the jar and just put them right in my salad. Yes. At least that's me. It would need to be usable. Yes. Okay. So let's do it like that. So we're going to, we're going to peel, the, we're going to trim these. Yes. And I love the way they smell like the earth. They smell Every awesome. Every time, they? right? You yeah. feel like you are connected to the earth when you yeah, smell it smells a bee. like the earth. I mean, it's dirty on the outside. It smells sweet in the a way, skin, right? Yeah. There's so much yeah. sugar in bees that you can oh, smell yeah. like molasses. Right, 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 right. And then you just have this gorgeous color that just pops through. So it doesn't matter if it's a golden beet or a red beet. It right? doesn't matter, yeah. Any okay. beet you want to do. And for, then, pe for people who maybe grew up not liking beets. Oh, yeah. Good do question. Do you think the pickled beet is, is the introduction in? It's the way forward. It's like the, it's <laughs> like the know, bridge the, the to The pickled beet, beet loving, might not that? be the one to, <laughs> to turn somebody <laughs> over. Yeah. Yeah. The pickled beet is for the beet yeah. lover, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're not, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. The, pic the pickled fair. beet isn't that's turning fair. any, uh, any haters into lovers, in okay. my opinion. Okay. That's super fair. Super fair. I liked beets even as a kid. So... It might put you in the minority. I know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I don't I think know. our children would agree with that. <laughs> okay, yeah. I make them eat them. <laughs> so if we were doing just straight up red beets, I would wrap my cutting board in a little plastic wrap. Oh. Just because it's going to stain our board. But these kind of white and pink beets don't yeah. do it as bad. Yeah, but yeah. the red beets kind of ruin everything. Okay, yeah, that so makes sense. So if these were red beets, maybe wrap your cutting board in plastic. Oh. Or don't even do it on the cutting board. Okay. Because it'll stain your cutting board. Especially you can do if it you have over a nice your sink one. and over your collar. Yeah, you can do it over your sink or in a plastic bowl. And just bowl. Put, every, put all your peels in the compost. And, Whatever see, you want to do. And sometimes it just rolls away so you got to go get it back yeah okay this is this is this is this is a nice peeler i have to say I'm kind of excited about you know what this. emory you can have that <laughs> <laughs> thank you i love kitchen tools yeah great okay so we're so we're doing this yeah so we're gonna we're gonna Peel these, and then we're gonna trim them to our desired size. I kind of just like to quarter them from here. Yep. When they're this size, if you've okay. got some big gargantuan beets, you know, yeah. cut, cut it however, yeah. whatever so, seems appropriate. Great. Great. Um, here, let's just do a compost right into okay, here. Okay, perfect. Yep. Okay. Okay, so, so we got our prepping, beets. So we're prepping beets, and we're prepping beets first because they have to cook a little bit in the brining liquid yes but you at home if you're not doing beets you might be trimming your beans or cauliflower or chopping other things like that but we're going to stick with beets totally. and we're, we're going to prep them the beets. so i just like to quarter them just like that i like don't have to tell you we're, we're already would in. you cut it again if you want to you can cut it again okay. um i'm going to cut it again yeah i mean that's a big one so i think the more important part here more is we want to keep our beets whatever we decide to do we want them all to be the same size that they okay. cook the same great they're so pretty Okay, so we're gonna cut, and. John, are there other are there other things you might pickle in this method where you're actually cooking the beet in right. pickling? Right. Good question. What else do you have to cook? Um, you know, beets are kind of the exception where you cook them like this because okay. most things will pickle when you pour them over the brine over it and you cook it in the water bath. Mm -hmm. They it will cook through, but this is kind of the exception where it takes so long to cook. We don't want them to be raw when we go to open it a few months down the road. Okay. But something hard like a carrot, maybe? You know what? Carrots cook surprisingly quick. Okay. So we don't, we don't even worry about yeah, carrots. Great. Yeah, great. Okay. That was the only thing that came to mind. I can't think of anything else that I would and, maybe... And a quick question about room temp versus, versus French temperature. A fridge. Can, do you need to temp oh. these or can you just pull them out of the fridge? The you beets. beets in the fridge, yeah. Like, does it matter what temperature? It doesn't they, matter what temperature. Because you're going to cook them up, yeah, right? You, yeah, you, okay, cool. it's going to be... They're going to get cooked either way, so... Okay. So let's go ahead and get these going in a pot. Okay. So we've got a pot here. We're just gonna go ahead and pop our beets right in. Okay. About how many beets did we do? Uh, I think we probably ten, did eight, yeah, eight. eight small beets. Okay, great. Or you might just do two big beets. Yeah, great, okay. Okay, so we got our beets here. Okay. We've got our brine liquid that's okay. coming up to a simmer here. Okay, so, so yours is the one with power. So you're gonna do... Yeah, so let's bring this over. Okay. This is not up to temp yet, but it is warm. Yeah. You can see that the sugar is dissolved in it, right? The salt's dissolved in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's good. 
Um, Mr. Mark, can I bug you to pass me a uh, ladle from yes, back sir. behind you? Yes, sir. We got a ladle back here somewhere, don't we? We got one. Right, right by your knees, down low to your right. Down low. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Perfect. Because, go, oh yeah, So here we go. if you want to grab a couple of spoonfuls of that, maybe just give it a quick stir, make sure yeah, everything's I nice. I just did it, I just did it with my... And then we yeah. just want to get enough in here to, to cover it. Okay, great. So I've got my hot brine liquid. Yes. Or, or pickling liquid, pickling brine. I'm using my wrong words. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna get just enough to cover it. We're getting just enough to cover it. You can probably put one more in there. Maybe so there we go, our like, beets are suspended in liquid. Is that good? That's no good. More? No, that's perfect. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that on this burner here. Okay, excellent. And we're gonna bring this up to a simmer, and then we're gonna turn it down nice and low so I can cook the beets beautifully, and we'll okay. be good to go. How long does that take? Um, you know, depending on the beet, it'll probably take 20 minutes, 30 okay. minutes sometimes. Great, so and let's just let cook that cook. to fork tender. Fork tender, right, because yeah. that's the texture that we want when they come out yes because how they go in are they gonna get mushy in the you, jar they're gonna soften up a little bit okay but they're not gonna get mushy okay got yeah got it. but okay. they're not gonna soften up a lot Great. it'll be like one degree softer okay okay yeah. good yeah because you don't want that you don't we don't want that to happen okay yeah so, so let's let's let that go and then let's get our uh dill pickles going here so we can oh yes get some action okay. going so now we're making pickles yes we're not just pickling things we're gonna make Pickles, which I've never done. Okay, so Kay. I've got some pickling cucumbers here. Okay. Wh wow. I got them on ice water. Okay, why, why, why do you have them on ice? So putting cucumbers, especially on ice water before you pickle them, okay. it's gonna kind of firm them up. Okay. And they're gonna be crisper right now. Okay. And the crisper that it goes in the jar, the crisper it's gonna come out of the jar. But when you bought them, you didn't, they were just at a grocery store, correct? Yes. You bought these at Ballard Market, maybe? Yeah, maybe. For example, okay. Yeah, you know, or you ordered them from the restaurant. <laughs> we, we bought okay. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If, okay. you, if you buy but them. But then you put them in an ice bath for what? How long? Half an hour? Hour? Yeah, I mean, you can do it day? overnight overnight if you wanted to okay. in, your in your fridge. fridge. Okay. Um, but okay. these have been in here for a couple hours. Okay. So I got these ready just a couple hours ago before you got here. Okay. We just got them in the ice water. And no matter how fresh your cucumbers are, I kind of yeah. like to do this. It's just, yeah. it's just one extra step to make yeah. sure everything comes out nice. Okay. Not that so hard. let's start trimming these up. Okay, what you makes a good one. pickling cucumber? Sure. So well, pickling you, cucumber. How do you pick this one? They're nice and small. Okay. Right? Oh yeah. Looks and like a cucumber. Gonna, yes. It looks like a, a yeah, pickle. Looks like a pickle. Right. Yeah, that I would like buy at the deli. Buy. Right. Like when um, I was a kid, when we go in the barrel and get the whole one out from the. Yeah. From something the deli. that I like to look at inside these cucumbers is the seed structure. Okay. Right. They're not. It's not a bunch of seeds. There's not a bunch of air gaps. Yeah. There's not a bunch of extra liquid. I can kind of push on it, and it's not just. Seeds yeah. flying everywhere. Yeah. It's a yeah. firm, nice cucumber. Okay, excellent. These are perfect for pickling. Yeah, they're really beautiful too. Yeah, they are beautiful. Okay, okay. So this is a perfect pickling cucumber here. So we're okay. gonna we're trim gonna... them up just like I did in half. Okay, in half. Okay. And then we're gonna do it one more time into spears. Okay. And you know, if you were thinking like, hey, I want discs for, I like I like circles when I eat pickles. Yes. Do that. Okay. But I like I like them like this. Okay. And we can also keep them whole. It doesn't matter. However you want to put the cucumber in there. This is just how I like to do it. Okay. Well, let's do it like let's do it like this. Okay. Cool. Let's do okay. it like this. So let's just we'll trim a couple. a couple of these up. Okay. Got it. Great. Okay. So we're gonna we're just gonna cut a few here. Yes. And one of my questions was, how long does it? Oh yeah. Look. So you you know where to put the you know where to put the. The vegetables. Look how pretty these are. They smell so good. You can probably each do one more, and this will fill okay. us up a couple jars. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It doesn't take that much. Yeah, it doesn't. To uh, that much produce, so you really don't you don't have to have that much um, to do to do this. So did you cover the, the kind of cucumber? Maybe I missed that, but like in terms of seeds and that kind of stuff. Yeah, we went over it, that. And um, species of, of, of here, here's one more thing, Anne Marie. If I we find didn't one. talk about species, he just said a pickling cucumber, like a classic pickling cucumber okay. that's not too big, that doesn't have a lot of. Yeah, and if I find one that's got some something on it that I just think isn't pretty or I don't want to eat it, I'll just cut it off. It doesn't matter. Great, because you can have a. Yeah, edge. You, you can have an edged cucumber. Yeah. See, like sometimes I find this in the pickle jar, pickles I like, but I don't like that. Then trim it off. So I trim it off. Yeah, get yeah. rid of it. That's not my favorite. Okay. This kind of, yeah, kind of kind of gross. Should okay. Okay, great. So we got our cucumbers ready. Okay. And then we're going to get our jars ready. How long does it take for a, for a cucumber spear 
to absorb the brine and taste like a pickle. Sure. So it's kind of immediate. Like when you when you can what? something, it's creating a vacuum in the jar. Yeah. And so all the flavors are infusing kind of immediately. Okay, they're starting. But they, they'll kind of cure and um, get better over a couple weeks. Okay. So, you know, about, about a week to kind of reach its prime. And then it's good for another year plus after that. That's crazy. Okay. So, um, and we're, so we're going to eat some of these that I made yesterday. And you'll kind of see so how So you want quick. about at least a week to have it take on the flavor. If you're going to do the work and you want it to take on the flavor, you have to let yeah, it let sit. let it sit for about a week. At have least. some patience. Yeah, why not? You okay. know, you're, you're yeah. doing all this work. You okay. might as well take the time and make sure okay. that it tastes good. Okay, great. So right. we got our jars I'll here. I'll Okay, keep going. Okay. I cleaned these up a little bit earlier before you guys got in. Um, what makes a good jar? Yeah, so I really like these ball jars. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, my great grandma canned in these. Yeah. Um, okay. And it's just the jar to use. Got it. So if you want to use ball or cur, yeah. also makes a yeah. really good jar. Right, right. And the nice thing about these jars is that they just always seal every time. Um, and they last forever. Yeah. And they're just yeah. good jars. Yeah. So and right. they, they yeah. look nice, right? Yeah. Like this looks nice on your shelf. Yeah. I use it for everything at home. I keep all my stuff in it. So these are good yeah, jars. Me so. too. I have flowers in them. You get yeah. you know, anything ball jars. You can do anything with a ball jar. Totally. Okay. So you can use these jars a couple times um, when you're pickling. And it's just kind of one of those things that a brand new jar is always best. Okay. And the more you use it, the more susceptible it is to breaking. The oh, more susceptible okay. it is so be to aware. Be aware uh, of that. failing and not sealing properly. Okay. Yeah. But we can use the jar a sealing. couple times. And Got we it. definitely use them a couple times. In a restaurant setting, because we don't want to pay for it every time. Yeah, no. And neither, do you, you at, and neither do you at home. No, But the thing to. that is important is to make sure that you use a new lid every time. Okay, so, and this is what's interesting to me. So you can buy just this part, right? Yeah, you can order. They usually come in bands and lids. They come in a pack. Because in my shelf, I'm a recycler. I make jam. So I have all these different jars. And I yeah. have all these different lids. And... So if I was going to pull out all my jars and, and clean them and prep yeah. them, then I would know ahead of time and ideally I'm using new lids. Yeah, new jars know, or at least new lids. At home, I'll reuse my lids a few times okay. just because, but you got to know that there's there's a bigger chance of it not sealing yeah. properly. Because, and then you just ster you sterilize them. Yeah, so I, I sterilize them. these. I wash them with hot soap and water. Yep. And then I gave them a little boil in some okay. boiling water for yeah. about five to ten minutes. Okay. Um, and then I just pulled them out, let them dry completely upside down, okay. and we're good to go. Great. So let's start getting into these pickles. Yeah, let's do it. So we got our jars. We're going to make two jars of dill pickles today. Okay. Of these guys. So we got our jars. What do we do with our pickling spice? Okay. 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 A few I people like have the beets going. Is it okay to let the brine boil? Do yeah, we, so I got mine. Like a low simmer. Mine's kind of up to a boil now. So if you got let's, your beets let's going Let's turn them down to a simmer. Bring it down to a low simmer. Ours wasn't quite hot enough because we had some power issues earlier. But once you get it up there, you so can just keep it on a low we're simmer. We're simmering now. You can kind of see where I'm at. I don't know if I'm in quite in the shot here. I think yeah. I am. But and It depends a little bit on the size of I the cut of the beets for how long we're cooking. But we're basically going. We're looking for a fork tender beet. Fork tender beet. Yeah, and I mean, you should be to pull this beet out of the brine and eat it and Happily. think that tastes like a good beet. Cool. So that's what we're going to go for. I've got mine turned down to kind of a low simmer here. Okay. Um, we're going we're gonna to pickle some pickles. So we're going to get some pickles going. So we got our pickling spice here, right? Yes. Um, and we made a good amount, which is good. We can hold on to this, you know, for future uses. So I like to put about a tablespoon of our pickling spice in the jar. Okay. In the jar first. Right in the jar. Oh. I'm gonna go heaping tablespoon. Yeah, why not? You can put two if you like. Oh, 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 I'm going to. Okay. And then we got some nice dill here. Okay, so now dry, dry, fresh. Fresh. Fresh dill. Yes. Okay. And you can use dried uh, dill seed if you like, if you have it. I, yeah. I prefer to use the Which fresh dill though. Okay, got it. So, so how much? Let's just put a whole half bunch about this much, you know, in the jar. Oh, We're gonna amazing. put it straight in, and you can so kind of break you, it. So how do you how do you trim like. it? I'm oh. not even gonna trim mine. I'm just gonna break it and pop it in. Look at that! Look at that! I'm gonna cut off my end. So I'm gonna yeah, you can cut off your end. So I'm just gonna Kay. pop it to the side. So you you bit in half and you put it in. Yeah. It smells so good. 
There's nothing like fresh herbs. And then this is kind of one of those moments where you can put whatever you like in your jar. Okay. I like to put shallot in mine. Yes. You can put red onion if you prefer. Okay. Or no onion if you prefer. Yes, okay. So um, I like to put a shallot in mine, because I like shallots. Yeah, I and like they're shallots. gonna pickle up and we can eat the shallot as well later. Oh, interesting. And yes, that's what I like course. to do. Okay, got it. Sometimes I see, if I buy farmer's market pickles, I see whole garlic. Sure. Is that common? Yeah, let's put some garlic in ours too. Okay, great, because I saw you have some prepped, which I've is kind some, of amazing. I got some normally, garlic ready. it doesn't come prepped in my house either. Yeah. It doesn't come prepped, no, no but we, we got a bunch okay. of people in here looking to prep, so. Yeah, okay. We got some garlic, and I really like garlic in mine, so let's put as much in there as we want. It doesn't matter. Ooh, I don't know. What? what uh, let's, let's put five cloves in each ooh, one. Ooh, okay, that's let's so. Let's put five cloves in that one, and then 10 cloves on this one. Okay, because you want a lot. I want the garlic. I want to yeah. eat it later. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And it looks pretty. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so we got our... So we have pickling spice. Oh, yep. wait a minute. You didn't even really... All you did was peel the shallot. Yeah, I just peeled it and trimmed off and the trimmed end. And trimmed off the end. And we're so that's not even there. that hard. It's not even that hard. Okay. We're going right in. Oh, I love this. Okay. Okay. So you've got your dill and your shallot and your garlic and your pickling spice. Yep. Okay. And now let's start getting our cucumbers in there. So I like to... Kay. Kind of tuck everything down to one side. Okay. Um, this is purely out of self-interest, but if you like spicy pickles, which oh, some of us do, spicy can, you, pickles. Can, you yeah. can you throw? Kay. What pepper I, would you I throw like spicy in? I, I just like a like. Yeah. There's a like peach pickles made the spicy yeah. pickle, like blue. Yeah. Totally. Right. So I mean, I think like, habanero is the best. What is this? I think habanero is the best uh, pepper to use for this for, kind of stuff. For the, pickling. The flavor is amazing. The heat Kay. is there. Okay. This is what I use. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Do you, you pull the so seeds I'm gonna pull, out? I'm gonna like, pull the stem off the top. Okay. And it, if you're working at home, just be careful. This is uh this is the danger zone when you're yeah, working you with peppers. Yeah. Don't touch your eyes. Like don't touch your eyes. Don't go, okay. to don't go to the bathroom. Yeah. Don't, especially don't go to the bathroom okay. and uh, okay. just don't touch your face in general. So okay. I like we, to just. We've all learned that with COVID. Yeah. So, so I like to trim off the top. That's gonna come in handy with pickling. No one knew. And then I like to just chuck them right in like that. You don't even take this. And out? honestly, one habanero is probably enough for this. If you like it really spicy, we can do two. No, no, I just want like the warm glow. I want to know that it's he spicy, just wants to but know yeah, how totally. so we'll, we'll you put, just want to know how to make it spicy. We'll put one and a half in ours. Right. That's bold. I'm That's really quite bold. We're crazy. Okay. So I just take my. Yeah, so I kind of like to do it one at a time. Right. Um, and just. And do you do like skin side out? It, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter at this point. Um, Okay. And just kind of going around the outside. Get them nice in there, like pattern. little soldiers, nice and lined up. All right, all right. Like I like the cloths and pickles. Exactly. When I buy the, that's the kind my kids like. Okay. Right. Okay. And you can kind of really just kind of shove them in there. Yeah, because you want as many as you can. Yeah, you want as many as you can. Because you're you've got all this goodness in there. Okay. Right. I got some more. I got some more room. And try to. Yes. To the best of your ability be below this kind of collar oh, here. Oh, I got my shallot. So if you're a little tall, that's fine. Okay, just, kind that's of, okay. just kind of pop it in there. All right, all right, all yeah. right. Be forceful. Be forceful with my pickles. Okay. So we're going to stop here where we're at. Yep. Um, and then let's let's hit it with some brine. We're ready okay. to go. We're ready to put brine on there. It already smells like pickles. It already smells like pickles. It really actually does. Yeah. Okay, but there's no brine in here. There's no brine in there yet. Okay. It's the dill. So... We got our brine over here. I'm going one more in there. You're crazy. I know. <laughs> okay, so we got our brine here. Just I'm not always like the best direction <laughs> follower. <laughs> so we got our brine here. It came up to a simmer and I turned it down. Okay. Just because once you get up to a boil, you don't want to just leave it boiling because it's going to reduce. Yeah. The salt's going to be crazy. The acid's going to be crazy. So I like to just bring it up to a simmer. Okay. And we'll stop. Okay. I noticed you brought this awesome little uh, pickling funnel there. Well, this is from, this is what I bought, I think, at Bartels to make my jam. Perfect. These funnels okay. are amazing. You don't They're, have to have them. It's amazing. You don't have to have them, but they make everything so much easier. So let's yeah. pop that right on top. Okay. Uh, nice thing about the funnel is that it kind of gives you a guide mm -hmm. of where you should fill your brine up to. Oh, say that. Why? So, um, yeah, so you've got, you've got a funnel line here that shows okay. where you're filling up to. Yeah. Yeah. So that's okay, it. Okay, got it. Because you have to leave a little air. You have to leave a little bit of air. But not too To much. allow us to create the vacuum. Exactly. So let's see. What do we do with our, uh, our, our ladle, yeah, Anne-Marie? Got it. Okay, great. Kay. So let's go ahead and fill these up. So now our liquid's hot. Our liquid's hot. So we just want to be cautious. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. Our beats are right on time, too. Oh, this is These amazing. are quick. The beats are going quick. You have a good plan for us tonight. Okay, so Kay. here are our beats. 
We're gonna do the same thing with our beets while Anne Marie's filling that up. Okay. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna go right to sort of the edge of the. Yeah, and you know, if you go a little bit over, it's okay. Okay. It's all it's all gonna work out. Okay. I so. like that. I like the forgiving nature of this process because. That's it makes how it way I, easier. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. So we're gonna start working on our beets at the same time. I'm gonna use that same pickling spice in there. If you wanted to put some other ingredients in there, go for it. Some rosemary would be great in here. Oh, if you wanted to go, like yeah, a little, totally. A little more savory kind of spice. Totally. Are there any other fresh herbs that do well, or is dill kind of the main one? You know, dill does spice? great. Uh, tarragon does really well oh, in pickling. Okay. Yeah. Um, but okay. this is kind of how I like to do the beets. You know, they're they're rocking and rolling here. Yeah, look they're at nice those. They're nice and tender. Okay. They're beautiful, right? We got the yep. kind of bicolor going on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna pop that in there. Okay, and they've cooked in this liquid. They're, they're in the same liquid and you can yeah. see the colors change because mm -hmm. of the beets. Yeah, so it's nice and pink. It's kind of pretty. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that right there. And it feels like there's gonna be a lot of them. Yeah, we're gonna but get we one whole jar. We feel like we didn't start with that many, but then it feels like we're gonna get a lot. Okay. So our pickling, our dry spices at the bottom. Dry spices at the bottom. Okay. Beets right in there. Yep. Let's get that funnel right on top there, yep, Anne-Marie. Yep, yep, okay. And then this is an advanced move. I'm just gonna do it right out of the yeah, container. Yeah, professional. Nice and quick, I like to commit to the pour like yeah. that. And if it spills a little. That's okay. That's all right, you're in your kitchen. Yeah, we're in our kitchen. Okay. So we're going right up to the line. Look how pretty that is. We're gonna pull that, that off. Okay. And then we're gonna go. So what? Lids on, brand new okay. lids. Oh, okay. Boom, boom, the boom. The disc lid just on right there. Yeah, Got so it. we're just gonna pop the lid on right here. Okay. We got some bands. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and screw these on. You wanna screw these on tight, but you don't need to, you know, go crazy on it, just nice okay. and tight. These are jars you've already cleaned. Yeah, yeah we, so we talked through that. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I sanitized these yeah. a little earlier. Yeah. They're nice yeah. and clean. Brand new, uh, He's using brand new lids. lids. I'm paying attention over here. I'm just sort of like, yeah. yeah. Like no, okay. okay, so we got these ready. Um, we've got our apple okay. butter cooking down over here as well right, right. now. Right, so let's. But it's still not quite ready, So, but I've got another one ready yeah. to go in a jar right now. Well, okay. So let's show that one out. Let's just got... show how someone would take the finished apple butter and then put it in a can. Totally. And talk through that. Yeah, let's do okay. it right now. So, okay. so we've got this one, this is still cooking down. You can kind of see that the sugars are starting to caramelize. Right, it's glossy. Yeah. It's got this like sheen to it. Yeah. The apples are starting okay. to break down. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. But that would that's gonna it, keep going but, for a little bit. Yeah. So you need another hour, hour twenty minutes. Yeah. Things like that. Okay. So we're gonna so take. I've got one that I started a, okay. earlier today. Great. Um, and you can kind of see I did the exact same process. Okay. You can see the color has yeah, changed. Yeah. Look how pretty right? that is. That is shiny. Is that because yeah, of the wine? Yeah. It's just yeah. because of the it's because of the sugars that are yeah. caramelizing. It's turning okay. into caramel. Great. So how do we? Is there anything different about putting this into a jar? Um, so, no. We Kay. want to do the same height. We Great. want to fill it up the same way. Great. So let's got do another that. Jar. Okay, let's do it. Let's do so it. So we've got one more jar here. I have a new. I have a different funnel. Oh, we got a new funnel even. Yeah. Great. Perfect. So it's not going to taste like pickles. Perfect. Okay. So, so you can use a spoon to pop it in there. Okay. Which we will do. Okay. And we want to go right up to the fill line still. Okay. And look at that color. It's yeah, that's crazy. beautiful. You've got the red from the skin and the the caramel color from the sugar. Yeah, that's awesome. So we're okay. gonna go right up to the fill line. And you know, if you don't have quite enough or you got a little too much, it's okay. That's fine too. If I have extra product, okay. I usually just put it in the fridge and eat it. Yeah. Eat it soon. Okay, got it. So Great. we're here. We got everything ready okay, to go. We're gonna put the lids on. And then how do we make these safe? How do we make them shelf stable? How do we make them? Sure. So we're gonna we're gonna process these. Okay. Is what we like to say. Okay. And we're gonna process them in boiling water. Okay. And the boiling water what is going to sure it's gonna heat everything up to a temperature that's gonna force all of this air out. Okay. And create a vacuum in here. Yep. And then that vacuum is gonna seal this lid. Okay. So I've got okay. some boiling water. Okay. Ready. So what's important about a boiling water? It needs to be a deep enough pot. Yeah, that so you because it has to be fully submerged. It's right? got to be fully submerged. Yeah, you want to okay. be underwater. Yep, underwater. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're running out of time, but we're gonna do this, and we're, we're gonna talk about safe canning. We're gonna do. We only have a few more minutes, but John Courtney in here is gonna teach us. He's gonna teach us how to do this safely, so that we end up with jars. Now, how long can I keep my jars? If they do a proper seal, 
They're yeah. shelf stable for sure. I mean, a year for sure. And then anything after that, just use your best judgment. Yeah. If you okay, open great. it and it smells yeah. good, right. let's go for it. What happens if something goes wrong? So if something goes wrong, you can kind of um, you can kind of see. Here, here, look at this. Is that right? Nope. Oh, look at that. You're I teaching know. me. Yeah. This is the home. Here you go. Okay. Because it's on your side. So. We're gonna gently pop there, these in the water. What's nice about this is because the first year I did jamming, I didn't have these, and I was using my tongs, and the water was hot, and I was, I got burned, and it just, it didn't, it was clumsy. But these fit the jar, and they'll fit a small jar, they'll fit a big jar, things like that. So, okay, so your water was lower, and then obviously gets displaced. So now look, so it's yeah, so over now there. We're okay. sealed. How long do they have to be in the boiling water bath? So to make a to make a safe seal. At sea level, we want to do it for around ten to twelve minutes. Ten to twelve minutes. Okay. Yeah. And they're gonna come out piping hot. They're gonna come out super hot, which yeah. is gonna make this really nice right. to have. And then what do you do with them? Then where do you save them? Because we don't have twelve more minutes. Sure. So we're not gonna pull out this the hot sealed jar. So, yeah, so maybe we should just pretend and then you show us, yeah, or I'm, what does it matter? I've got a couple that I did uh, yeah. yesterday Okay. just to kind of show you. So when they yeah. come out of your water, yeah. and the so water you, needs to be simmering the whole time, Yeah. Um, it doesn't need to be at a rolling boil because okay. things kind of clank around and get crazy. Yeah. Right. But I like to pull it out of the jar okay. or out of the thing. You're going to lift it. And I like to lift it onto my table. And then yeah. with a towel, I like to grab it and flip it upside down. Oh. And that's just going to kind of help that seal happen. Got it. So it's upside down. It's upside down, and that's gonna you're gonna let it cool long, all the way to room temperature. How long does that take? Overnight? I mean, yeah. If ideally, I just leave it there overnight. Yeah, great. Um, and then you're gonna come back in the morning. And you're gonna flip it, and you're gonna check your seal. Yeah. If it's not sealed, it'll be you'll hit it, and it'll kind of be. Yeah, it'll pop. It'll right? be pop. You'll feel right? that. And then this is this is tight seal. This one's properly great, sealed. Great. And you know what I like to do like this. What's that? If you want to give it with a gift, you can put some twine around it. You can put a label on there. Oh yeah. So I keep this because I love to give flowers to mason jars or give the jam that I made away. It's fun to take it somewhere. I keep this on my thing. Yeah. And so I go like this. And then I go like this. And then done. You have Perfect. a gift. Yeah. You just Beautiful. Done. Yeah. Give it away. And then do you, the other thing I was thinking about is probably important that you have done here. You've labeled them. You've taken a Sharpie. Yeah, so, so I like to label So you write that, right? Do you just write right on your jar? I just write right on the lid. I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to remember when I made this. Right. Okay. So these are, so you just write pickles. John, wait. Canvas Community College. we got a couple of minutes here before we switch to the, to the next show. Uh, yep. A couple of questions about canning tomatoes. Anything oh. special there? Anything yes. that you would advise as people head into, into tomato land? I know we're out of that season now. but Sure. I mean, um... You're gonna follow basically the general same process that we do. Tomatoes are kind of a special piece of produce because they have such a high acid level that you don't have to add much to them to make okay. them can safely. Do you cook so, them? Uh, you can cook them. Um, when we do canned tomatoes at the restaurant, we usually do what's called a concasse and we'll peel the tomatoes, we'll remove the seeds, we'll save all the liquid from removing the seeds, yeah. we'll pack our tomatoes, we'll pour the liquid back over, and then we'll process them the same way for 12 minutes in the water, 12 to 15 minutes um, until it seals. Okay. Awesome. Cool. And then lastly, I'd like to try that. To know if you've got a can that didn't seal properly or something goes wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Like so what, just like a so check, check this out. We know this one's sealed properly. Um, and when you go to remove it, it's going to make a very satisfying suction from that air entering yeah, back into yeah. the jar. Right, right, so, right. You're going to hear it. Gonna, and yeah, gonna... I mean, the band at this point, because it's sealed properly, is just there for show. This yeah. isn't going to pop. Yeah. Okay. Um, but when you go to get it. Yep. Yeah. It makes that satisfying pop. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. And then we, right. we've got a right. nice uh, right. jar of pickles here. Yeah. You um, brought one up the other yeah, day, I, though. Yeah, I brought one up that I knew. That <laughs> Even I, an expert can't I know, make a mistake. I messed this one up, and it was yeah. almost kind of embarrassing. But you can no, see. No. Um, no, but that's it yeah. just doesn't look right, right? Yeah, like yeah, when you look no, at it, you're like, I don't know about that. Done. The it's jar out. is bulged on yeah. top. It's Kay. it's under pressure. Yes. But it's bulged because right. things aren't happening right, right inside right. the jar. And then when you remove your lid, you're gonna get kind of a less satisfying, clankety. And it's just, it's it showing you. It doesn't smell as good. Yeah. It doesn't look as good. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. This it's one's gonna go in the garbage. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I'll, I'd save the jar at my house save because I don't think that it's uh, it's not botulism or anything. I just yeah. think it just doesn't look good. Yeah. It probably doesn't taste as good. Yeah. Great. Okay. You know, I'm gonna taste jar. one of your pickles. Yeah. Get in there. That you made yesterday using our recipe. 
So these have only sat 24 hours? These have been in here for 24 hours, yeah. 24 hours in the pickling thing, even though you said it takes a full week to get the full flavor, but. But I think it's still pretty good. It's really good. It's crispy. It's really good. It tastes like a pickle. Yeah. It's, it's what it's supposed it's to taste like. I know. It's a win. It's surprising to me. And I can taste the spice. I can taste the dill. And I can taste the rich flavor of the shallot. And that's very good. That's very good. Awesome. Okay. So here's the deal. Thank you. What? Well, we got a show coming out. It's just okay, worth well, saying. Okay, no, we're wrapping up. I know. Brian's about to go live in a little yes. bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's the in the room. I'm African American Museum. That's the only reason we're kind of rushing. No, this time. We got other. We got. Is there anything else that, that the home canner should be aware of that uh, that we didn't cover that was in your mind or do yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things that you should just be having fun with it. You yeah. can pickle anything in your fridge. Yes. Um, yes. You know, me and my wife go to the farmer's market yes. every weekend and we yes. pick up so much stuff that we don't know what to do with it. Yeah. And we generally just pickle it and put okay. it in the basement for later. And I think it's one of those things that yeah. you should just okay. be having fun and pickling okay. as much as you can. Let's do it. Yeah. John, thank you. And Marie, thank you. Thank you for you. walking us through this and Absolutely. sharing your knowledge Absolutely. today. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.